shall be done. Watch now. I'm not falling asleep again. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Only too well. Ugh, how far they must have delved into my thoughts. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Ugh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game. He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me. Stay away. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah, I will not break. I'd rather die. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Why have you returned to the tower? How did you survive? As it was mine. Look what they've done to it! They deserve to die, Aldred most of all. 
They caged us like animals, looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and oh, there was nothing I could do. And to think, I once thought we were too hard on you. Only mages have that much power at their fingertips. Only mages are so susceptible to the infernal whisperings of the demons. This is a discussion for another time. Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred, where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well of the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore! Ah, but what can I do? As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. Don't waste time on me, deal with Uldred! If that is what you plan to do, once he is dead, I will be freed. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. I remember you, Irving's star pupil. Aldred didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. Uh, I suppose one can't be loved universally. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. We needn't fixate on who killed whom. That doesn't help our relationship. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. 
Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. Resistance! Everywhere I go, resistance! How very inconsiderate! Wait, what do we have here? Why, it's the first enchanter. Come, say hello to your old apprentice, Irving. <laughs> Don't mind the blood. He's had a hard day. What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. <laughs> Never! That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually. As will you. Ha! I serve no one. No. I have plans for you. Great plans. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. I shall do it. Omega, oh, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynn? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there. But I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. 
We shall let them know that the tower is once again ours. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Maker's breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. We will rebuild. The circle will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy, and be strengthened by it. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the circle and the Templars. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. The Templars guard and advise, but the First Enchanter has the last word in what happens in the Circle. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Here we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Though it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. From what Gregor said, it seems that you came here seeking allies. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. You of all people should know that we are not to be underestimated. The mages you see here will be a great help to you. You have my word, as First Enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. The Grey Warden saved us. Fighting the Blight is the least we can do. True. The Circle has always played a part in defeating the Blights. This is our chance to show that we will fight and die for our home, just like any other Ferelden.
So that thing was just random thought? How powerful were the minds that unleashed it? I think we will be all right now, thanks to you. The children are already a lot calmer. You remind me of Lady Cecily. Who? She was an Orlesian lady. My mother served her until she died, and Lady Cecily let me stay, instead of turning me out on the street. You are like her in some ways. You have the same poise, the same air of nobility. Oh, child. <laughs> I am hardly noble. I learned that nobility isn't just something you are born with. I have met nobles who are very petty and mean, complete degenerates. Then. They are people with a certain dignity and grace. It draws you to them, no matter who you are or who they are. I think the lowest peasant can have the most noble spirit, and it will always shine through. It is this nobility of spirit that you share with Sicily. Why, thank you, Liliana. It is very kind of you to say that. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? <laughs> 